we have VAMP, which you are, of course, enjoying right now. We have other monthly programs. We have Long Story Short, which is off-the-cuff storytelling that happens every month. It is not a curated storytelling show. There's no script. You show up, you sign up as you get there. You don't even have to sign up. You can just show up and listen. But it is uh, five minutes, no notes. You tell a story, but you do get the theme ahead of time. Usually that theme reflects them. So if you want to show up and just work out a story and think about how you feel about that, you can use it as a practice session to write your story out for them. So that's a great thing. I'm not sure I can then trust myself. I'm in the middle of switching my ADHD medication. I've been battling daily surges of random anxiety along with relentless spinning thoughts that feel like I'm losing my shit and I just want to scream! Your dad scared me when he bought that gun. Realization hit. Oh, Mom, Dad bought it to hunt rabbits, he told me so. I was ignoring the fact that my dad had never hunted. She said, your dad threatened me. We have to leave for a while. One year, we found the fibula of a deer in the woods that had been clearly gnawed off by some sort of predator. And my parents didn't blink an eye or put up any signs of protest when I simply bagged it up and brought that bad boy in for third grade show and tell. <laughs> Camp in the Midwest is miserable, hot, and you have to shit in hideously humid and stinking outhouses. I earned all manner of badges, but to this day I think they should have a merit badge for somehow unseeing other boys' balls when they poke out the bottom of the normal uniform shirt. <laughs> On three separate occasions, our home was identified as lost, only for the reporter to later issue a retraction. My house is right about there in this I remember my mom dropping me off that day, repeating emphatically to me not to ask or say anything about the fire. And I hadn't. Not even when I saw the pictures of his brother and his sisters in his room. I wondered if he turned out okay, or if he was scarred for life, like my mom had said. No one was with her when she reached into her handbag for her keys, and a blood vessel burst in her exquisite brain. She was found within the hour slumped in the hallway with a gash on her forehead that would be attributed to her striking the doorknob during her fall. Evidence, they said, that she had never been aware of what was happening to her. 